RoboCop has gone down as one of the most beloved films of the 80s. It's not only incredibly funny, but it's also pretty smart. Paul Verhoeven weaves social commentary so well into the narrative of the film that its deeper meaning can go over many people's head upon their first viewing. The first thing that is extremely apparent when watching the film is that it is extremely violent, which is poking fun at the excessive violence in films of the time. The violence in the film also helps communicate the film's bigger target of criticism, which is governments and corporations, and how they will go to insane lengths to protect their bottom line, even if it costs the rights and lives of the public. Notice how Robocop plows down each person, even putting citizens at harm. Robocop forces the people that cross paths with him to either comply or die. While the film has many targets, its biggest target is the commercialization of government and the insane heights of capitalistic greed in the 80s. This is apparent from how the essential government services in the city are funded and run by OCP. Hospitals, prisons, and the police force are all run by them because, as they say, Good business is where you can find it. The fact that Robocop isn't created to better the city, but to make sure that the development of Delta City stays on schedule speaks to that. After all, they want to build Delta City not because it'll be a utopia, but for the money they'll make from it. In the end, Paul Verhoeven's masterpiece is an excellent satire of 80s excess. From the violence in films to the greed of corporations and its increasing involvement in governments. Do you agree with my explanation of Robocop? Comment down below if you do or don't.